way, people. Um, right. Yes! I hit 300 subs. Well, that's what YouTube tells me. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I wonder how long it will be till that drops back down. And then shoots back up. And so I remember doing my 200 subs. Um, one, and uh, got to 200. And it dropped down by five or something like that <laughs> so i was like damn right um in this really quick video actually that's no, not gonna be a quick video um i'm just gonna do a special thing where i show some of my box sets that i really like um that i own um i won't show you every single box set i've got but these are ones i really like um and well, I do like the Def Leppard Hysteria, but only if I didn't already own most of it anyway, before I bought it. So that is, you know, it is expensive, but um, it'd been nicer to come with the LPs, um, as, or the LP and everything as well, the 30th anniversary. So, but, you know, I knew that before I bought it. Uh, but originally that was a hundred and hundred and twenty quid or something on Amazon UK, and then I managed to get it for sixty six quid. I was like, yes, bargain. Um, right, this one is a box set that was uh, one of my mates came around and said to me, John, you interested in this? I went, hell fucking yeah. Black Sabbath, the singles, 1970s to 78. This is limited edition, six CD single box set numbers. Uh, number 12076. And um, yeah, shame that wasn't 3 1. And then just 7 6, that would have been my date of birth. Right, so inside. So that's what's on the back. And uh, it's just a little card. Tell you what they are. You've got a poster. So. Open it up. Which is pretty cool. I wouldn't say actually it's that great a poster, but you can stick it up in a man cave or in a in a frame and you know it could go in a little Put it somewhere small. Still pretty cool to look at though. Um, so there's that one. Oh, that's got to go that way around. The only thing about opening box sets and all these things with posters and stuff is putting them back. That's the pain in the ass part. Right, that's probably why I don't go to open them up much. Might say Wicked Woman uh, and... Uh, Wicked Woman, Evil Woman, and Wicked World. I'll get that right in a minute, because otherwise that would have been Wicked Woman and Evil World. That could still be the same. So, and uh, on the back it's got Evil Woman, don't you play your games with me? And uh, yeah, what's this disc like in here? So all the discs just look like that. A replica of a this, this single. So that's that one. Then we've got uh, Hard Road. These are not in order. <laughs> I've just pulled them straight out. Symptom of the Universe is on the other side. That would be a Japanese copy on that side. And Never Say Die. So that would be the UK one. That side. She's gone. And then that would be the Japanese one. I'm assuming that's how they've done it. So you've got the British one there, Black Sabbath, um, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath and Changes, and on the other side would be the uh, what Japanese version look like. Unless that's just Japanese, the whole thing probably is. Probably me being stupid. Right, this one's advertising number one in England, Paranoid. And the wizard, 
and uh, there's the back of it. And uh, yeah, really cool that. And then last one, Tomorrow's Dream and Laguna Sunrise on the other side. Well, on the, it would have been the other side in, on, the, in the, on the original single, but not with the CD. So yeah, um, still a fan of CDs. I like CDs. I like vinyl, I like CDs. The only thing I don't like is downloads. And um, I don't like the, uh, the shelf life of cassettes either. Um, they're just easy to break. So easy to break. Um, so yeah, I do have cassettes. Um, as you might have seen some videos, but... I've only just started collecting a few more again. So, right, next box set I love loads, and it is. I got this when it came out, and uh, it's got some weight to it. And it's the Judas Priest remastered CDs. And uh, yeah, I bought this. It came with um, four CDs, I think it was. Yes. Sin After Sin, Stained Class, Killing Machine, and Unleash the Nice. And what you had to do is when the others came out, you bought the batch. They, I, think, I think they did come out. There was another four another time, and then a bit later on, there was another four. I think that's how it was done. It's so long ago. When did I get this? 2001, when this came out. So, yeah, really cool. And... Um, it's got all the Priest albums um, from Sin After Sin to Painkiller. So, and there it is in there. Let me mix up the uh, picture there. And um, you get a booklet as well. These are just the same Priest CDs that you'd go out, you can buy still today. Um, and when you've got them in the right order, they spell out Judas Priest at the bottom down there. Um, but obviously, when you buy the box set, you get this book booklet as well, with loads of um, pictures, and there's a bit of writing in there about the lineup and stuff, and history. But yeah, really cool. Just there. And um, yeah, I've had had this since 2001 and it's actually been one of my favourite box sets and uh, I know Megadeth and Megadeth did reissues and they also and Iron Maiden and they also did um, the thing where you'd have the picture at the end of the CD when CDs when they're all together it's a shame they didn't have a, an actual box as well so Yes. Oh, where am I going to put that? Well, that's going to have to go there for now. Right. This one I picked up really cheap. And you'll see why. Um, it's ACDC. And um, it's Black Ice. The reason why I got this cheap is because the tin is dented. Now, if I was good at metal work, I'd probably bash that out and get that out okay-ish. Right, it'd probably be in the right state if I did it. Um, but yeah, in here, I've not really looked at this, so it has got a hinge on it on this side. Oop. And inside, we've got the CD, and this is just loose in there. Bit of a shitty um, thing to do. And then this is another tin. Oh, that's actually supposed to be stuck down. The pad or something's come off. Oh, okay. It's got ACDC. Oh, no. <laughs> you could probably only see that in the mirror. But, yeah, that's uh, well dented. But this has got another tray, which is uh, metal as well, tin. And then inside, we've got this pack. Nothing else in there. I've not opened this, and I've had this this tin for 
a good three years, four years, and I've never opened this. And it is still sealed, I think. Yes, it is. So, is it? I'm going to open it. Stuff it. Right. Oh, shush. Something's up in there. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Uh, where have I got an, a blade? Oh, keys. Car keys will be fine if I do it gently. Word of warning, don't use your car keys to do it. Right? So I'll just put a little mark on the uh, box. Damn. Right. Oh, what's this? Oh. I didn't realise this was in here. Oh my god. Something interesting in here. Oh, oh, just what I could do with as well. But I don't know if I want to use it for my guitars. There's a guitar pick. Plectrum. Got a Gibson one as well, ACDC. That's, that's awesome. Really. I didn't even know about this at all. I never even read the back of the tin. And then in here... I don't know what that is. I think it might be a fridge magnet. Let's have a look. So you get uh, a twin, well, that's from the CD. DVD containing making of a rock and roll train video. You get five sticker set. That must be the sticker set in there. A giant ACDC flag, so that's what the other thing is. And an ACDC guitar pick. The lim all 15 tracks on the CD. That's for the special limited edition. Then there's a 20 page booklet with live photos. That would be in this. Well. That might be in with the flag. I don't know. Because I don't see. I don't see any booklet with that. Either someone's lost the booklet, the previous owner. Because there's not, not going to be in here. So that might be why I got it cheap. Because they've lost the booklet. Let's have a look in here. Oh, this is going to be cool. This is going up on my wall. Wow. That's awesome, man. Oh, it's quite big, actually. I have to stand back here. That is cool. I'm loving that. Wish I'd known about that earlier. That is awesome. I wonder if I could put some rods on it and fly it. Nah, maybe not. No, that is cool. I didn't expect that to be in there. So that's going on my wall. I think I might, yeah. Yeah, that's going on my wall. Well chuffed with that. That's not staying in the tin, no way. So, um, yeah, so the other stuff can go back in the tin. Like I said, getting all this back together. I will do that after. And uh, plecked on there, right. Um, another cool box tin Queensryche silent lucidity individual band member prints and logo stencil this is um, there's the silent lucidity 7 inch single in there you get um, stencil Queensryche you get the tri -Rike on there. You get a couple of these, actually. That one. Oh, a bit's fallen out. <gasps> a bit's fallen out. That's quite cool, though, eh? That's the tattoo I want. I want to have done. Is that tattoo? Um, there's a, another one. And then you've got the black and white prints there. Of the best version of the band. The original members. Right. And um, 
Stuck your back in there. The other, another one, Queen's Reich, is this one. Um, this is uh, the best I can. Oh, sorry, best I can. Three track, ten inch single with a four, a ten inch, ten inch by forty inch banner poster and Queen's Reich badge. Do you know what? There's a Queen's Reich badge, which is quite a bit boring, really. But nice to have the the tri Reich in there. Um, Oh no, it's, oh yeah, right, so there's the 10 inch, and uh, it's up there, and here's the poster, oh it's, yeah, I've seen this, po I remember this poster now, I didn't, I didn't really like this poster, um, I didn't find it very exciting, um, and the back's just plain, but, you know, It's still, it's still a good box set. Let's stick that badge back in before I lose it. And Megadeth, skin of my teeth. Yeah, they know what I'm gonna do next. I've got two of them, all right? One I've had for a long, long time. And the other one I picked up at a very good price second hand and I just had to I just thought you know they don't come up all the time these so it was worth getting um oh is it that one that I've taken a CD out of so this oh yeah here's the one I want to show you the other one I've already taken a CD out of to show in one of my videos right so you get a um oh this one's gonna need a wipe but yeah, you get a game with it. Oh, and a poster. The Dave Mental anyway. And um, you get the game, Megadeth. And um, you get your all your bits and pieces to go with the game, guest passes. Crew pass, photo pass, press release, access all areas. These are all little cards to go. Well, they're not cards; they're just cheap. They're just paper. But um, you know, you could. I suppose you could stick them to a little bit of card. It would take <laughs> bloody ages to do. But um, the other things in here: seven inch skin of my teeth. That. Then you get the, the two um, CD issues of the single, which are really cool, and also you get the 10 inch, which is awesome as well. And um, yeah, that's one of my favourite box sets. Um, I don't get out much then. There are some box sets I really want, but they cost a fortune. And that would be the White Snakes um, box of snakes. And there's a few others. Um, but that White Snake one's like 500 quid. I was like, what? Really? When it first came out, it was about 150 quid. And I thought, oh, it'll come down in price. It never did. Um, one of the coolest box sets I've. I've over the year, well, for I've had this for I've had this since ninety. Uh, was it ninety one or ninety two? Ninety two, it was. And it's Def Leppard's um, limited edition CD singles collector's box. This is from Adrenalize time. The box came with um, Let's Get Rocked. And this is actually my second one of these. My first one, my original, is uh, got a bit knackered. Don't know why. Um, and then what, what you did is you filled out. That would be uh, Make Love Like a Man. That would be... Um, I think that's Heaven Is. 
and that one is, or one of them's heaven is and um, have you ever needed someone so bad and when they did tonight that didn't go in here um, that had two CD singles that were separate um, stand up wasn't I never uh, stand up wasn't released in the UK I don't think but yeah that's uh, that was the ones in there and that just opened out like that but yeah, um, you know, I couldn't wait to fill that box up. And the thing is, you buy that and you think to yourself, cool, you you had the box set and let's get Rock Was Out. And you automatically knew that they were going to release another three singles. And it was just like eagerly waiting to, to, to get it. So yeah, that's, um, I love that. So yes and um, that's it for showing you those box sets that i don't i wouldn't normally show and um yeah and just so awesome that i got 300 subs cheers to you guys again always um love hearing from you lot um so yeah cheers and uh i'm not gonna do peace gonna be rock on man as loud as you flipping like